Hello, everybody. This is Kate Strashny from Dedicated. I'm here in San Francisco. We're at the Salesforce Agent Force 2.0 launch with Jayesh. Jayesh, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you. I'm so excited to actually talk to you here today. Good place for us to start is what do you do at Salesforce and how long have you been there? I'm the EVP of Salesforce AI and my team engineering organization is responsible for building the Agent Force platform. I have been here almost eight years now and pretty much all my time I have been responsible for building out the AI team and the AI organization and have seen some amazing transformation going from the predictive AI to generative AI to now Agentic Systems. Amazing. Congratulations on all the hard work. It's paying over here. Thank 2. you. 2.0. I Look know. 2.0. I know. Look at that. I know earlier today, Mark Benioff uh, was talking about at the keynote how people are using agents, right? And right now, if you go to salesforce.com, everyone can actually go ahead and try out using uh, Salesforce. I tried. I just typed in the two words, Dreamforce 2025, and it started telling me, oh, next year's Dreamforce is scheduled for, and it gave me all the information. So that already was helpful. Tell the audience, what's the difference between Agent Force 1.0 that we heard about at Dreamforce now with 2.0? Great question. So 1.0 was really the underpinning of Agent Force. We'd seen that there is a lot of data latent in the enterprise. There are actions, business logic processes that have been built, code that is running within the enterprise. And we saw bringing it all of that together into one place to be able to have that single agentic layer for the enterprise was a big need. And as we launched 1.0, our customers have jumped all over it. There's been a lot of amazing positive use of the product. And we learned from that experience. And the three things that we thought was needed to really take it to the next level as we worked with our customers was one, there, there needed to be a more deeper level of reasoning to be able to do things that are sophisticated. Uh, unlike uh, consumers' use of agentic systems, the enterprise use of agentic systems is significantly more sophisticated. The work we do isn't always easy. Yeah. So being able to do that required a, a different take on reasoning. So we did a lot of work on the reasoning layer. The second was data information is the lifeblood of agentic systems. And often we realize that customers don't have data that is in the right form. Right. Customers don't have data that is clean. Data needs to be extracted from unstructured sources so that it's usable. Yeah. Again, a lot of the information is informational content within data is hidden and needs to be extracted. And with LLMs, you can do that automat automatically so long as you have context. So that's the second bit in addition to the reasoning is enhanced data processing that is used to then inform the third piece, which is contextual retrieval augmented generation. Yeah. yeah, and I think this is what's making Salesforce's uh, agent force so successful is because you have the right data and it's already uh, on a, the data cloud and it's accessible because sometimes you have all the right data, but they're sitting on different islands, right? I love the, the slide Benioff always shows where the data is sitting here and it's sitting there and we need to bring that all together. Now, tell me more about this Atlas reasoning that I keep hearing about. Is this kind of like the brain behind the operation? Yeah, the very first version of reasoning was, I think the best analogy I can give you, which actually goes quite deep, is the work of Daniel Kahneman on system one and system two thinking. Often when I ask you a very simple question, like what's your order status of a chatbot system, that really doesn't require a whole lot of reasoning. It just requires good data, and it just requires access to the most recent data, maybe a set of action to look up what your order status really is. That doesn't require a whole lot of reasoning or thinking. That's what we call system one thinking. As humans, we do it. Somebody asks you what day is today, you don't really have to do a, a lot of thinking. I do, actually, <laughs> sometimes. Well, once in a while, that happens to me, too. Today, yeah. But for the most part, you have the answer at the tip of your tongue. You really don't have to do a whole, a whole lot of thinking. Uh, however, I think there are questions which requires reflection, and we do this quite naturally as humans, right? We, if a question requires some thought, we go, okay, maybe I should confirm that answer is the correct answer. Right. Or in addition to confirmation, do I need to look at some other data sources to figure out if what I'm getting is the right, right response or not? So we have an intuition around what does that evaluation look like? So if you saw today in the agentic loop, we introduced this evaluation step. So what that is, is, it's simply saying, once you get the answer, check your answer, take a minute, that's the system two level thinking kicking in. Concretely, that is being able to use instructions, that is being able to look at the data that comes back 
that is being able to check the data based on a definition of what good looks like. Right. And again, this is really important in the Salesforce context because we have a sense of what good looks like. We know what a job to be done looks like and yeah. what the quality of the job to be done needs to be. All of this is encoded in the metadata. Now we've got a sign here, the digital labor platform. Yes. And I've seen the sign all over the St. Regis here yes. in San Francisco. Um, talk to us about that. How does that help customers? Um, yeah, so when we released the Agent Force platform and just observed what customers do with it, they were using it for things way beyond just CRM. Mm -hmm. You can bring in any contextual data within Salesforce or out of Salesforce. And using the reasoning engine, you are able to orchestrate this to, f to actually go get a job done that you have a good definition around. Okay. So very quickly, we realized what we needed to do was create a templating mechanism that customers can then use to create their own digital force or digital labor. What does that look like? If you notice today, we, no we announced the notion of a skill, yep. a definition of a skill, if you will. A skill is a set of actions with a set of instructions taken together yeah. and an LLM right in the middle right. of it. Um, actions are like things that you can do, capabilities that you have, but what makes an action a skill? A set of actions a skill is your ability to deploy those actions in the right order to actually go get a job done. You are a skillful worker because you are able to take the actions that you have access to, but actually go use it to do something very concrete with it. So this notion of a skill is something that we define just based on what we learned and just based on what we saw customers were doing. Yeah. And basically that's the underpinning of the digital workforce is you're going to have a skill that we actually now have out of the box. You have skills for, you have analytical skills that are baked into the platform like with Tableau, Tableau right? Yeah. right? You have communication and collaboration skills. So you can bring in another person right into it. Slack, right? Right. You have CRM skills, obviously. You have obviously. sales, you Salesforce. have marketing, you have your CRM skills. So these are all skills, but when you build an agent, you have access to all of these to bring it together to go get a job done. Right. And that is the underpinning of the digital labor platform. Thank you for that. I'm sure the audience at this point is wondering, where can they go to learn more? Is there a place to try this out, to see demos? Go ahead and let them know. <laughs> okay, <laughs> they got you covered. Please go to agentforce.com and you will have tools, tips, tricks, training to go build your very first agent. All the very best. Awesome. Jayesh, thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it.